So, yeah, I mean, but that that looks great. And then, you know, another, you know, tidbit of surprising news was that Bethesda, you know, we were talking about Fallout, Mm -hmm. you know, earlier. Ubisoft and now Bethesda. Yeah, but Bethesda is actually, you know, bringing out an Indiana Jones I Dude, know what that's do dope, and man. that's. I got to get your opinion on this, Mark. Yeah, that perplexes me because I don't know exactly. I know what way I'm you can go way, like, what, with Indiana. What Jones, is this going to be? Know? Like an Uncharted, right? But Uncharted. But like at the same time, so, right? When right. you look at everything that Bethesda's done, um, they don't follow like a typical storyline. You know, like you know, point A to D, and then you have B and C. But that's you know would what I mean? be how I would envision but it. That's how you would, yeah. That's envision how you would think that, game, yeah. that this game would go, right? But you know, Bethesda's always been like, you know, go off the beaten path. You know, go search here, go look there. There's random shit. Tomb so, Raider. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm I'm interested to see. Will this be like the first game that Bethesda does where they just have like a set pathway that you're following and it's not like open extreme ended, exploration like open type world. of world. Yeah, yeah, extreme exploration. Or is this like yeah. is this like you're really playing Indiana Jones and there's different myths and legends and, and things like that that you can go and track Dang. down and like find. Like Relics that would be that would be pretty dope. You know what I mean? Like is, if you're doing is. like Legends of the, the Lost Ark and you're doing like, you know, Aztec temples and you know like all this stuff. You know, Just like, like on another Raider, level right? that like you go find would these be. tombs and you explore them. Yeah. And collect the loot from them, right? Well is that is that how like the newest one is? The, That's how Tomb Raider is. I mean the, the it's new Tomb Raider, the way. Shadow one or whatever? All the last three have been that way. And then well, Chartered's kind of like read, that too. The reboot. The first yeah, one. the Chartered's kind of like a little bit that way too. I thought that... Where well, you find tombs. Yeah. Right. But I thought I thought it wasn't and, like you're yeah. exploring the tombs. I thought that, you know, that you have like a, a some incident happens and you're like... The last one that I played, the incident happened and you're like trying to survive. No, the, just the as you're going through the game, um, it's like... Tomb Raider is kind of open world, but not quite. Uh-huh. It's more open world than Uncharted is. Okay. But you're like moving through like zones of the world. Yeah. And as you go into a zone of the world, um, you just kind of explore it. And sometimes you come across like a pathway that will take you down into like a dark avenue. And all uh-huh. of a sudden you found a hidden tomb. But you, you still had a main storyline that you were following. Yeah. Right? And you enter the tomb and you're inside the tomb. And there's like a transcript at the top that you want, uh-huh. but you have to do all this stuff to get there. So it's like a puzzle. Okay. Mm, so you have, to, gotcha. you have to solve this big puzzle and it's a lot of fun. And then you get there and you get this sweet item for doing it. Okay. And then like you leave and then you want to go to the next one and find the next tomb. Like that's one of but the funnest still on parts one about island. Tomb Raider is finding the tomb. Are you yeah, still you're still on, on the island? one island uh-huh. and you have a story and the tombs aren't part of the story. Right. But you but that's one of the best that's one of the funnest parts of Tomb Raider okay. is finding the hidden lost tombs yeah. and exploring them and getting the loot that you find in them. That's like one of the funnest parts. And so I can see um Bethesda doing something like that. And even having maybe be a little more open world. Mm-hmm. And like a lot of tombs, and you kind of like just going and you're finding them as you like kind of like Fallout. Yeah. Um, but it is weird, right? Bethesda that they chose Bethesda to do this one because I can only think of like first person shooters and open world ended, you know, exploration games that Bethesda does. Right? They do and like Indiana Jones is like Lucas Films also, right? Yes, I believe that that's part of Lucas. It's Disney, I believe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so it's it part seems of Lucasfilm games. It seems like Lucasfilms is trying to do something with their uh, with their titles. Dude, their, their they're, IPs they're that using they have. them finally. But I wonder Probably, if yeah. I wonder if it's Lucasfilms and Bethesda, or if Lucasfilms just gave the rights. To I think it's Indiana probably Jones both. For Bethesda. Probably both. Like mm-hmm. they didn't give them the rights, but it's par- it's a partnership, right? We're like right. we want you to make it, but and well, but we're gonna here's some story. vision yeah. that we have towards yeah. it, right? Um, but it's weird because, yeah, I would not think Bethesda would be the studio that you hand that kind of game no. to. Yeah, yeah. So I'm definitely, I mean, we got like a tidbit of a trailer, but it was more so just like panning and over And does this mean Xbox exclusivity? I was Ooh. I was hearing a lot of people debating being that, Bethesda. but I think, I think that being Xbox, um, that they're more so looking for profits than they are yeah. for exclusivity. They want because, sales, yeah. Because as as we've seen so far, there there hasn't been anything since you know console launch and even before that where there was like an exclusive. <laughs> yeah. For a while, time so, exclusive probably right. right. At the best. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I could definitely see it being a time exclusive. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing I'm stoked about is that I got Game Pass, so yeah, I get it for free. Game Pass, that's so, true. Um, that's crazy. That's definitely, that's we're nuts. gonna get Indiana Jones. You're right. Yeah, for free. Free day one. That's yeah. Nuts. So, oh man, I can't so that's gonna Game be Pass. that's gonna be definitely dope. Um, 
you know so i'm looking forward looking forward to see what they're going to create um obviously yeah, sure. this one has been announced as another 2022 game but i could see this one you know releasing I like early 2023 but we'll see yeah, yeah, I'm I just, just super don't... curious. I'm not as excited because I don't know what they're gonna do with this. I can right. when you say Star Wars and like open world, it's like, oh, dude, we know because you be have great, things right? to base it off of. Yeah, but when I think know. Indiana Jones, all I'm thinking of is the Lego Indiana Jones. I'm thinking done. Uncharted. There's nothing My else mind always there. jumps to Nathan Drake and Uncharted. That's what I think. We can only hope. That's what I think of too is Uncharted. Yeah. Um, but like you were saying, Bethesda doesn't really make many mm. Uncharted style games. Right. They make Doom, which is awesome, but not similar um so we would assume it's going to be more open orient you know open world oriented which is not a bad thing i think that would right. be better um and you know if it's anything like fallout 4 or skyrim you know i'm i don't know much about indiana jones i seen the movies when i was younger <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. same but i'm sure there's a lot of lore and things you know if you're just searching for treasures and that's hidden fun. stuff that's, that's awesome fun, right yeah and that's... you could probably make up a lot of you know i don't know where this game is going to take place but i'm sure you could pick a, a region and then Egypt, man. Gotta take place. Just in yeah, Egypt, and just dude. look too up the much lore, treasure in Egypt. You know, bro. based on real yeah, life and things, all the myths. Yeah, South America, America, yeah, yeah. So you could, you know, you could make a lot of content that might not be from the movies, but it just takes place in the same time, you know. Dude, like what if they kinda dope. like went in a different direction too and like really had some dope whip combat? That was, that's what I was gonna like, mention. Is like, like God of War, you know, like whip combat. like he's whipping around, you yeah. know, those chains. Because he doesn't use guns. Or yeah, like he doesn't that. use guns. So I'm yeah. interested to see where he, they'll he take the combat. You could use a gun, though. You could use, yeah, he you could, could use guns. But I mean, if you're looking at all the other movies, he never once picked up right. a pistol. I don't think. But I he mean, doesn't really have. Me he's not really like that. fighting a lot of people either in the movies, right? right? Yeah. But he's what if he went in that direction, like kind of like 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 Odyssey, right? Or like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, where like you're like, you know, that would be dope. That's a combat system, and then you could find new whips. Like that'd be fun, right? Yeah, you know, you could like customize your whips, kind of like Castlevania. That's what I'm thinking of when I watch Netflix Castlevania. Yeah, and he's like fighting and you're whipping, yeah, with yeah. the whip. Yeah, like, that'd, that'd be cool. Like, that'd be There's a lot of different directions they can go nice. to. They can go in bad directions too. Like they can mess this up. Yeah, I think this is sure. kind of the game you kind of you you could mess up. Yeah, but if you go in like this kind of open world, like we're talking yeah. about, you know, I think the game's on rails. Then it won't be as good. But, yeah, if it's on rails, I think it won't be as good. And you, they might go that direction. It won't feel like a, a regular, you know, Bethesda game. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think I think as long as you include exploration as long as you're able mm-hmm. to explore and there are cool things to you explore gotta have that. i think yeah, that sure. that's going to be the main thing like you could probably have like a shitty mainline story but as long as you are able to explore and, and treasure find hunt. cool treasures yeah. and different things like that i think that's what's going to be their bread and butter and the treasures have to be things that we want to use mm-hmm. i don't want to just go tr- find a treasure For and it's just a trinket something? that goes into my collection relic you know, slot on my, yeah. you know, inventory right, screen. Right, right, right. I want it to be something that I can wear, you know, use, activate, whatever it may be, a power, I don't know what, but something that we actually want to use and attain. Yeah. Because you, you imagine, man, like, because, you know, like, there was, like, curses and different things like that with, like, you know, the, the Lost Ark and everything like that. So could you imagine, like, you know, having to figure out, like, a sequence or, like, if you missed a step and you go to open up the treasure, like, That'd be trap or something like that. You know what I mean? Like or or like opening opening up something like, you know, like the uh the the fountain of youth, you know, like discovering the fountain of youth and then be able being able to (laughs) get like Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Like Max Health or (laughs) or finding like the you know, like the goblet. I don't even remember what the goblet was for. I think the goblet might have been for like youth or something like that. But you know, being able to follow find the goblet and drink that. And then be able to get like um, you know invulnerability. Dude, and like, like and like some of the curses are like actually good, and there's like a meta. Like okay, on this one you actually want to fail because this curse Dang. in particular it counteracts like, this curse. Yeah, it counteracts or this curse. Yeah. Yeah. How cool would that be? Right? Yeah. Like, there's some, like a build. Like, like there's <laughs> dark these, and light, yeah. right? Where like some of the curses are like more beneficial, like than they are you know detrimental. Yeah. Like and sometimes you might want the curse, right? Or, or being able <laughs> like to... in Skyrim, right? Where you could, because I'm thinking Bethesda, you can like be the werewolf, right? Oh yeah, right, right, and right, like right. that was a curse, but or the vampire, yeah. vampire. but there were some benefits that came fun. along with it yeah. too, right? Yeah. Dang. yeah, yeah, or being able to like, uh, you know, because in, in all of those, uh, there was always somebody hunting for the treasures as well. So being able to like spring, spring a, a booby trap 
on on people you know what i mean who are hunting for it you know to like to deter them or to 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 get rid of them so that you can freely hunt for the treasure you know what i mean mm-hmm. spring like a curse on somebody or something like that that type of stuff would be cool too yeah. yeah yeah my favorite ride at disneyland is hands down the indiana jones ride yeah so dude if, if <laughs> they could just fun. encompass anything of that ride in the game i'm pretty excited i love you mate.